said this is not a contact sport. <laughs> Today you did a lot of nudging. Actually, let me be very honest. I don't think I touched anybody. Let's be honest. Did you see it? Did you see it? Did, yes, did you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, let me tell you another thing then. Do you know, it's very interesting because we're always the first and the, did you, heard, you saw the rain? Yeah, so the, it was slippery, it was mucky, it was muddy, I mean, and it was just black cottony and it was red soil. So can you imagine? It was, it was really wet, it was really, it was very slippery. I really enjoyed it, it was extremely slippery, but it was fun, it was fun. And um, I think I didn't do too badly, yeah? I'm, I'm getting, I'm, you know how you feel on the third day, second day is like, yeah, I got this. So that's how I was today. But I'm telling you, the butterflies in my tummy were just like going crazy. But I mean, I enjoyed it at the end of the day. <laughs> I think there is a problem with the engine. I think the engine's knocked, so... I think it's just a bad day in the office. I mean, we're all driving well in the team. Dad's driving well, Uncle Sal's driving well. And Joan is driving well, so yeah. I think it's just a bad day in the office. It's not driver failure, it's mechanical failure, so it's... Yeah. Different experience. I mean, Rallycross is cars racing side by side, and I've never experienced it in my life. And you also saw in the morning, it was my first time driving in wet, so it's a good experience as well to add to my skill set. Um, the first loop that I did in the mud was all about me getting used to a car, because I've never driven in Subaru. So it was all about me getting used to a car, getting used to the power, how the gears work and everything. So I didn't push it as hard to try to push the limits of the wet. So, so it was just learning, because I was going slow, and the car was still sliding, so yeah, it's just learning. learning.
when the car is going right, everything is right. When it's going wrong, I wonder what is happening. Uh, no, the, my, my problem is I, we've got guests from Zambia and uh, they've come all the way to do this. So I hope the guys can get it fixed and ready so he can race tomorrow. But today, the, uh, Musa, the Ugandan driver, has given Leroy Gomes his personal car to drive, his, his, his car. So I think that's real sportsmanship. That's African sportsmanship. We've got a Zambian, a Ugandan, Kenyans, and the Ugandans lent his car to the Zambian. That is motorsport, that's what we love, that's why we're here. No, look, I had so much fun, uh, Musa from Uganda let me drive his car, he's just bought it. Uh, and, and it's very kind, you know, no, I don't, you don't usually find people who just buy a car, give someone a, a car to drive, but he allowed me to drive that because uh, we had a problem with the Subaru. It was good fun. Um, had problems, he was bogging down in the corners, I think our fuel is low, so all the corners, the fuel shifts, it bogs down, when it gets balanced, then it, it goes, but it's a, it's a rocket, <laughs> it's a rocket. amazing experience you know I, I, the first thing is, is the family feel I mean you know someone giving you a car and that's how it is if, 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 if you've got a good friendship you're always gonna race someone will just give you a car say okay go drive my car let's go and and I, and I think it's it's also like I said you, you're in one area it's good for fans and as it grows and, and people learn more about it I, I think it will really, just be phenomenal it's an amazing sport right, well we'll give fee rally some action some wild action. <laughs> Thanks. How was your experience? My experience today was good. It was actually really good. I enjoyed it. Again, it was a wet day. First session of the day was wet. But I think I've adjusted pretty well to the wet and I'm able to commit faster in the wet now. Um, but yeah, I, our day has been cut short. But it's all good. Uh, we came here, we've had our fun and yeah, I'm happy. I'm going to bring this back to Zambia now. Yeah. No, no, you know the team, bless them. Amazing job, worked through the evening. Um, I, I don't know if they slept, I, I believe they didn't. Put another engine in, got the car ready. It was just unfortunate, I mean, through fatigue and tired, uh, and being tired, you know, they set the car really well, uh, put in new shocks, but I think they didn't clamp the, the, the brake line uh, properly. And I think that went against the tires and ruptured. And actually, we, you know, we, in the beginning, I thought, you know, Uncle was pressing so hard, and I thought, mm, I hope he doesn't have an accident, because he was right on Ron's back. And then next minute I heard the, ah, you know, there's an accident. And I thought it was just because he was really pressing up, but he wasn't. He, he had brake failure, brake line ruptured. And, and we thank God that Ron was there. And Ron's such a good sportsman. You know, he didn't come mad. He came all smiles and laughing about what happened. But he could have been really worse. Um, and, and, and that's actually what stopped him from probably being a lot worse. But, you know, Uncle Assad and his family, blessings to them. They gave us an opportunity, opened up our eyes got the brain ticking and thinking, hey, we need to come back here. We need to come back with, with maybe one of our guys so we can actually bring in an actual Zambian team that can come in and mix it up, you know? And, and, and this is where you create unity. You, you know, this is where ambassadors are born for, for nations. And, 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 and this is, you know, something maybe the start of, of bringing two great nations together in, in more than just one thing, not just motorsport. Maybe other things will come out, you just don't know. But it always starts somewhere.
So we will go through the Africa Rally Champion in 2022. Uh, and it's sunset. We're racing today for the first time. Um, and hopefully, they can start learning off in Zambia. So, just a little bit of appreciation.